Hi and welcome to In the Chair. I'm Brenton Garren, your Executive Editor of Westside Today. I'm joined by Assembly Member Richard Bloom, who represents the 50th District, which covers Santa Monica and much of the West Side. Richard, thanks for joining us today. It's great to be here, Brenton. Thanks for inviting me. You were elected to your second term as a State Assembly Member at the November 4 election last year. Can you share what you're most proud of since taking office to serve the 50th District? I think the uh signature legislation that I was involved in was the uh, film tax credit legislation. I was the uh, principal co-author of the bill. We're going to be able to, I think, keep Hollywood here in California, here locally. There's so many jobs in our area that are related to the entertainment industry and the film industry. Segment of that is Bedrock Los Angeles and Bedrock 50th Assembly District. For those not too familiar with like, sort of the assembly and how it works, can you share a little bit about your position and sort of what goes into the job? Well, we have 80 assembly members, uh, so it's a lot different than uh, my work on the city council where we only have seven members and you um, uh, put together legislation in a different way. Even if you're able to get your colleagues in the assembly and the Senate to agree on something, it's a long process and the governor has to approve it or uh, has the opportunity to veto legislation. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's a lot different. It's also a lot different being away from home and, mm -hmm. uh, and doing the work. It uh, takes me away uh, uh, at least four days a week uh, when the assembly is in session, which is most of the year. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back in 15 seconds after this message from our sponsor. The Museum of Flying features nearly two dozen aircraft chronicling the beginning of flight all the way to the jet age. The museum also features a broad collection of aviation art, rare artifacts, and an educational center for children. For more information, visit museumofflying.com. So at the November 4 election, uh, Santa Monica School Board member Ben Allen was a Elected to the state senate, yes, he uh, was. representing the 26th district, which covers much of the same ground as your district. So two questions. First, did you have any advice for him after he was elected? And B, is there any uh, collaboration to work on issues that affect the area and the districts? Well, I gave him advice that uh, I took myself when I, uh, uh, when I took office, but that didn't work out very well for me. And, and, and uh, Ben is having the same experience. And that is, I wanted to take my time adjusting to uh, mm -hmm. uh, a new system. Um, what tends to happen is you get carried away and carried along uh, um, uh, uh, with the flow of business in Sacramento. And uh, so Ben has uh, um, uh, been up uh, in Sacramento now only for a couple of months, but uh, he has uh, adjusted well and he's full speed ahead. And one of the places where we started working is in the Legislative Jewish Caucus, which I was a founding member of just a year ago. Um, that caucus is now underway and uh, we have many issues uh, here locally and in the state of California uh, involving anti-Semitism and uh, things that are going on in our University of California campuses that are uh, very serious and uh, uh, the Jewish caucus is there addressing them. Fantastic. And finally, to conclude our uh, interview, can you share sort of uh, the part of the district that you do live in and sort of what you love most about it? Uh, Santa Monica. Um, it's, uh, it, I, you know, I leave every Monday morning and come back uh, Thursday night. And Sacramento is a great town. There's a lot going on there. But uh, there's no place like home. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what I love about Santa Monica is our, our, uh, uh, the people who live here, um, the great weather that we have. Um, and the can-do attitude that has always permeated Santa Monica. Coming from a community, really a district, where people um, uh, believe that we can do things in government that help change the world in a positive way, that ethos translates very well to Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Well, Richard, we appreciate your time, so thanks again for coming in. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Brenton. We'll be back this time next week with part two of our interview with Assemblymember Bloom, so don't forget to check out westsidetoday.com. I'm Brenton Garren for Westside TV. 